Okay guys, so to start off this Valentine's video, I'm just gonna start out by filling in my eyebrows. And I'm not the best at this as you can see, but you know what they say, practice makes perfect, so I'm always gonna practice, practice, practice. And um, I believe everybody says this, but your eyebrows are not twins. They are sisters, girls, so they can look different, it's okay. Taking a cream shadow, I'm just gonna be applying that all over my lid just to give my eye an even canvas. My eyes are a little bit dry, so that's why they look super gross right now, but just ignore that and keep going. Then I'm taking this dark brown and just deepening up my crease and giving my eye some definition. With whatever eyeshadow is left of that cream, I just clean up my mess or my mistakes and it works perfect. Now going on with this fluffy brush, I'm gonna blend the heck out of my eyes. Like when I say blend the heck, I mean like blend as much as you can until you can't blend anymore. Like literally, sometimes I've blent enough where my eye hurts. That probably is like, does not sound the best, but I did do that once. So just continue blending, blending, blending. I'm not sure what YouTuber says this, but I know it's somebody out there who says, and I'm sure several people say, when in doubt, blend it out. Now I'm taking this rose shadow, and it's a baked shadow from Sally Hansen. It's only like 99 cents, girl, so go get you some. You know you like it. And I'm just gonna be packing that onto my eyelid as soon as I stop getting distracted. And it's seriously the perfect color, the perfect glitter for just a look. Like it's not overpowering and that's what I really like about these baked eyeshadows from Sally Hansen. Actually, it's not even Sally Hansen, it's Sally Girl. Why am I saying Sally Hansen? Sally Girl from Sally's Beauty Supply. Then taking that brown and taking it into the inner corner and adding some more onto the crease and the outer part. To line my eyes, I am always like always using my L'Oreal eyeliner, and it's like the super blackest eyeliner that I've ever used. I love it. And just making it a wing liner. This time I'm making it a little more extended than I usually would. I usually make them pretty short, but I took it out a little more out of my eye and a little, um, I had extended it a little more up than usual. I wanted to make sure that those wings were enhanced. Now I'm just gonna conceal those under eye circles that I have going on, and like always, I mess up and put some concealer on my eyeliner, so fix it, girl. Please do not leave it like that. And to blend out my concealer, I'm gonna be taking a brush first and just making sure that I buff it into my under eye area, and then going back in with the Beauty Blender, making sure that there's no brush strokes. I hate brush strokes on faces, so make sure you guys blend everything out. Since my face is a little dry, this works just better for me. So again, with my foundation, just taking it with my brush, buffing it out, and then going back in with the Beauty Blender and tapping it out, making sure there's no brush strokes. And that just works perfect. And as you can tell, the eye makeup looks absolutely gorgeous and at its best when your face is an even color. And again, I do have breakouts, so ignore them. I tried to use the new L'Oreal Matte Foundation for a second time because the first time it broke me out and I was like, let me give it one more try. And like the first time, it broke me out the second time. So that was a no-go for me. And again, blending it out, making sure that there's no brush strokes. And this, with a beauty blender, it just gives it a little bit of moisture back into your face. For eyeliner on the bottom rim, I'm taking Wet n Wild Mink Brown. And this is a little bit darker than dark brown, but lighter than black. So it's just perfect and it's not too harsh. It gives it that kind of a sultry but sweet look at the same time. And for a pop of color in the bottom line, I'm going to be taking this fuchsia purple color from the new Jaclyn Hills Favorites palette from Morphe Brushes. And I decided not to do shimmer both on bottom and top and just kind of like balance my eye out a little. I didn't want it to be like a super, look at me, I'm 10 years old kind of look because it is color and you know, older women don't tend to use color like this. For mascara, I'm just applying a light coat of mascara and when I say light, it's probably too much, but light for me. On my bottom and top eyelashes. And then, guys, if you guys don't feel like using falsies or you don't need to use falsies, this is the last step for you. Enjoy your eye look and that's it. <coughs> but I'm going to use falsies because I have stopped using waterproof mascara and my eyelashes are super droopy. So I want something to give my eyes a little more openness. 
For blush, I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics Pink Blush and blending it out on my face. No streak lines either, please. And because I did want this to be a sweet Valentine, I didn't do a contour. Instead, I did a highlight. So I'm just applying this um, Tempt You, I think, highlighter. And it's like a pinky, pearlescently white highlighter, which is perfect, perfect, perfect for Valentine's Day. And for my lips, I am taking the new Rimmel Provocalypse Lip Stain Lip um, stick, super staining lipstick. I love it, guys. I love this line of lipsticks from Rimmel. They're my favorite. And I can't remember which color this is, but it's like one of the lightest pinks. Make sure not to get the one with glitter in it. I think it's Dare You Pink. I think that's what it's called. Ooh, and I love it, girl. So like I said, no eyelashes. That's what it looks like. With eyelashes, this is what it looks like. And I just think that eyelashes give it more of an oomph. To your look so again if this is Valentine's and you want to go all out go all out girl and I just applied some mascara just to make those eyelashes stand out more as you can tell they stand out away much more so that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one